Are you looking to buy or sell a home here in the DFW Metroplex in the next couple of months? If so, you may be shocked. That's right, you may be shocked with what is actually going on in the DFW Metroplex as far as home sales, prices, and inventory that are affecting the market and it's kind of counterintuitive about what's happening in the broader market or in the broader world. So before we get into that, my name's Aaron Ken. I've been a real estate agent here in the DFW Metroplex for 21 plus years. I've helped thousands of families buy and sell a home and I would love to help you as well. So please reach out to me at any of my social media channels we have down here below. Shoot me a message on this video or just give me a phone call. I'd love to talk to you. So let's get into exactly what we're gonna talk about today, which is the market. Now, the market, if you've watched the last three or four months of these, um, you know I'll look down a lot, not all the way at the camera all of the time, because this is my crystal ball. And I know the first time or two I said that, uh, I got text messages and people, friends, were laughing at me, uh, you know, crystal ball, whatever. But realistically, the market and the data is our crystal ball. It's the only thing that we have to go off of that can tell us exactly what the market is doing or is going to do with fairly decent accuracy. And so far I've been right with everything that I've said so far, not to pat myself on the back, just to show you that what I'm gonna tell you here is honestly quite shocking and will hold true as we move into the spring and summer months. One of the craziest things is we've been seeing inflation go up recently. With inf inflation going up, what we find is that interest rates usually follow them, and they have. Interest rates have gone higher. What that usually does is it puts negative pressure on our market and sends our market into a little bit more of a panic mode, or it holds the market back from not selling as fast. But nothing could be further from the truth with what happened last month in February. Remember, when we look at these numbers, we always look a month behind, and we always are looking at Tarrant County because that's the biggest county that we service. I'd love to put together a report like this for you, even a video on your exact city or what's going on in your neighborhood. I can get super specific. So as we look at the stats, single family home prices actually went up by 1%. Now that's nothing to scream or shout off the rooftops about, but 1% is good on a month to month basis. If you did that every single month, your home would improve in value quite a bit. A stable market only increases in value about three to 7% a far cry from what we've seen recently in the DFW Metroplex the last few years. But still, 1% is very, very good considering that we have been on a downward trend since July. And when you couple that with interest rates going up, it's kind of counterintuitive with what's been happening to the marketplace. So why is the market going up when everything else is basically saying it shouldn't be? What I believe is there's a lot of pent up demand and what that pinup demand is from is basically you had a lot of buyers on the sidelines once the interest rates started going 4%, 5%, 6%, all the way up to 7 and 8%, it took some people out of the game. And, and they felt scared with what was happening in the marketplace. Everybody was a little scared, real estate agents including. And what, what they did was they just said, I'm not gonna buy right now. Or they put their plans on hold. Well now, since we've had interest rates in between about six and 7% for about the last six months, the market is actually stabilizing. Buyers are no longer concerned that the market's gonna crash or interest rates are gonna crash. So they're actually jumping in, hoping at one point that the interest rates come down and they can refinance. The second part of that is they're probably out there thinking, oh my gosh, I've missed out. Homes have actually increased in value um, throughout the year at about 6%, but people were thinking the market's gonna crash. Oh, I'm gonna get homes 50, 60, $100,000 less than what they are today. That's what they were thinking a year ago. And that's just not the case. So actually, if we look at year over year prices, we're only down 0.89% of where we were February of last year. Now, February of last year, you gotta remember, we were at 3% interest too. So now we're sitting at 7% interest February this year, and we're only down year over year 0.89%, so not bad at all. Inventory, this is the craziest part, is inventory is way down. 
So basically what we're looking at is inventory available to buy in February was 3,462 homes, down from 3,905 the month before, which is an 11% decrease in inventory. And you're probably thinking, well, yeah, well, that was probably way less or way more than it was six months ago, but realistically, inventory has gone down 29% since even six months ago. The market realistically should have been better six months ago than it is in a winter month, but the market isn't acting that way. Again, a little bit shocking, a little bit anti what we were, would think. What that does is it puts limited supply on the market. So we're at 1.7 months of inventory, a 10% change from last month. So again, homes are trending downward as far as homes on the market available to sale. So what that does is it trends prices upwards. We start seeing buyers more competitive. We start seeing multiple offers. So if you're a seller, this is the market we're moving into to take advantage of because everything's pointing up. Prices are up, inventory's down, multiple offers are up, and we're moving into usually the hotter season of spring and summer. Now the rest of the market, I can sum that up pretty easily. It's the same. Nothing really has changed since last month. The, the price, sales price to list price, about the same, 1% higher. 1% is a good amount on four or 500,000, but it's not a huge jump. Closed sales, this is not the same, and this is what we talked about before because we had such a pending amount of homes uh, pending in January that we have actually seen a huge increase in sales, 1,625 sales compared to last month, 1,186. So that's February compared to January, which is a 37% increase, which is really, I think is really, really cool is that 3% interest in February, like we said before, of 2022, 7% interest February, 2023, and we only sold 150 less homes this February versus last. That's a huge indication that our market is actually getting much, much stronger. As far as pending sales, they haven't cooled off any. We have 1,820 pending in February and January, which was a good month, 1,803. So we're starting to see things climb from that regard too. And typically when we enter the spring and summer months, we get past spring break, we start seeing more and more inventory come on the market. So for you buyers out there, it's time to take advantage of the market before it gets out of hand. For you sellers, it's time to cash in on the market where it is. Because we don't know three, six months, what's gonna happen in the global economy. That's one of the biggest factors right now is what's happening in the world. You know, if heaven forbid we went into a war or something like that, that's definitely gonna have drastic consequences. So if you're thinking about selling, don't think about it too long. Try to hit this spring and summer market while you can. And if you're thinking about buying, it's a great time to get in. Go look at some of our past videos on how to reduce your interest rate, how to get 3% off your current interest rate. Those things will help you to be able to buy a home. And, and hopefully, whatever your decision is, you reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help you or just coach you through it. If you've already got an agent, that's fine too. Let me keep them honest. I'll tell you the true facts about what's happening in the marketplace. And if you would, if you could please like uh, this video and subscribe to the channel, it does help our videos out quite a bit and gets us in front of more buyers that are looking to buy and sellers that are looking to sell in our area. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Have a blessed day.